What is a Darlington output amplifier? This question comes from Sebastian in Leipzig, Germany. Sebastian writes, hey Paul, I've got a 25-year-old Harman Kardon integrated amp, an HK680. I'm very pleased with its performance, but it always takes 20 to 25 minutes until I get the dynamics, the bass, and the shimmer rut that I'm headed for. When it's cold, it always sounds like crap. <laughs> I bet it gets, yeah, okay. I, I think that's normal in a tube amp or class A amp, but this HK isn't that. The spec sheet says it's a three-fold Darlington output stage. What does that mean? I've never heard that technical term anywhere else. What is a Darlington? Hey Google, what is a Darlington? According to Wikipedia, in electronics, a multi-transistor configuration called the Darlington configuration is a compound structure of a particular... Hey Google, stop. <laughs> Sorry. I get with these silly machines and I just, I'm endlessly fascinated. I still use Alexa at home, but Google has much better answers. All right. As Mrs. Google suggested, a Darlington is a compound transistor. But let's, let's, let's start kind of with a little bit of basics so that we, we kind of understand where we're going. Um, so here I'm going to draw for you, I'm going to draw for you a uh, transistor, okay? So the elements of a transistor are collector, base, and emitter. And the basically let's just say that the power supply is up here and that, that's where we've got our plus battery, right? That hooks up to the collector. And then down here, we're just gonna put this at ground, okay? So what we want is the current to go through this transistor. Now, if I have this, just this base, let's say the base is the input. This is the gazinta for the current and the gazata for the current, okay? Now, if I, if I ground, that's the symbol for ground. If I ground that base, this transistor is off. And that means regardless of how big a power supply I have up here, Ain't nothing moving through here. There's no current flowing, okay? If I take this base and I start moving it upwards, in other words, let's say I just, I have a resistor here and I'm gonna throw in some plus voltage uh, and then I'm gonna divide it down a little bit like that. That turns the transistor on and depending on how much I turn it on, by putting a little bit of current in here, a big amount of current flows here, okay? So that's the idea behind a transistor. A Little bit of current going in, a lot of current going out. How do we determine how much current, how much of a voltage drop, how much current is running through this transistor? Well, by the amount of current on the input, which of course we, that's where we have our, our little signal. Well, we'll get to amplification later. That's, ah, get that all over me. Um, specifically to Darlington's, and I don't want to get this too technical because people go crazy. Um, maybe I'll be smart and use the uh, actual tools available to me here. Um, so how much current goes through here is dependent on how much current goes through here, which is the size of these resistors, right? They could be very high uh, value resistors or, and if we have a signal, maybe we put a resistor here and now we have a little signal coming in, right? And then we want to have a big signal coming out. Inside the transistor is a function called beta, okay? Beta. And beta is the gain of the transistor. So how little or how much current is determined by the beta of the transistor. So let's say that this particular transistor has a beta of 100, okay? It's going to amplify whatever little current comes in here. This transistor will amplify it by 100. So you get 100 times more current through here than you put in here. Right? Simple. And, 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 and you know, someday if you, if you want, we, we, I can show you how a transistor actually amplifies and all that kind of good stuff. All right. So what is a, so we don't take everybody's time forever. So what is a Darlington? Um, a Darlington is a way to increase the beta by using another transistor. So if we 
want or need a higher beta, the one thing we can do is we can start with a beta of, let's say, 100. And then we could tack on um, another transistor. Hook those collectors together up here to plus, right? So this 100 plus this 100 gives us much greater beta so that even smaller wiggles here create even larger wiggles there. And he, he, he said it was a triple. Well, you know, you can see how that goes, right? That's pretty simple. We just, just put on, we just put on, I haven't drawn for a long time. We just do it again. Let's say we, we don't want that to go to ground. We want that to go like this, something like that. Uh, I guess we'll have to have something going over here. Anyway, um, transistor feeding transistor feeding transistor, and you get a very high beta. And so that very little wiggles over here create big wiggles over here. I'm not a fan of, of Darlington's, personally. Um, we, we prefer more emitter follower kind of uh, configurations, which we can talk about later. But this, this is what a Darlington is. Um, it, you know, I say this all the time. In engineering, there is no free lunch. You got to pay for your lunch. So this is cool, except we start limiting. There's all kinds of things that happen. We limit the frequency response. They're squirrely. I mean, there are all kinds of reasons why people don't normally use um, Darlington configurations. But, but they do work. And uh, it's not something that we do. I don't like the way they sound. But um, they do work, and that, my friends, is what a Darlington is. So uh, I, hope that, I hope that helped your understanding. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.